Yo. Okay, so welcome to part four of creating a rigged character turnaround. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Now, um, what I'm going to do first is I know that, you know, we removed the nose bone, right? But we do need a separate bone for, for the, the nose. And I show, I'll show you why. If we move the face all the way onto the edge, notice that the um, the nose is separate from the, the face. So it will move off of the face, right? And we need a separate bone to move it independently, like bring it back onto the, the, the head whenever we, we need to, okay? So that is why I'm going to be adding a separate bone for the nose. So let's just go into the head here, right click, new layer, other, and skeleton and i'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees and uh let's bring this down a bit well we can leave it like this and let's move it over on the nose um don't need to snap it on just position it somewhere on the nose i mean we could position it somewhere off the nose if you want as well but i'll leave it right here i remember the nose is already parented to the face but um if we want to change its parent hedge, all we need to do is um, just uh, re-parent it to this bone here. So if I should uh, select the nose bone, the, the nose layer, sorry, and uh, pull down control and select the bones here, and then do the same thing to parent it, right click, ink to bone, it will now remove itself from this bone right here and attach itself to this bone. So. We can test this out by moving this and we see that it's now parented to that so let me rename this bone to nose okay and then click on save all right so let's get into animating now all right um so for this video i'm planning just to animate the head all right and then do the other parts in another in other videos or in another video um for the sake of time i don't want to make this video too long so yeah let's get right into it so let me click my keyframes panel here turn on animate uh let me save again and um i'm going to remove this first keyframe here and i think i'm going to start our animation at frame one okay so the first parts that i want to move is the face here so we know that this bone controls the face so i'm going to click on this and i'm just going to use my arrow keys anyone so for example if i click up right it will add a keyframe and if i click the down arrow key right it will go back into position um because we just needed to move it a, a bit for it to add a keyframe i've explained this before right and then just move it back into posi uh, position so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to every 12 frames or so, so i'm going to do some movement right so uh right here at frame 12 i'm just going to move this down and i'm holding down shift right so it goes in a straight line and i'm going to move it down to maybe here this looks about halfway ish all right and then on frame 24 i'm going to move it over further so it appears as if it's going around the head here so if i just move this down and there it's disappeared but uh, we know that it's somewhere here right <laughs> but it gives the illusion because it's inside of the head it gives the illusion as if it's going around the head okay so let's take a look at that Okay, so that is fine. And we're, we're doing these separately. We don't want to um, focus on too many parts, right? So we'll focus on the head and then we'll do the other pieces. So on frame, let's say 36, it should be coming back around this part. So let's move it over here, all right? Now there is one thing to keep in mind that if we should scrub back, right, the, we'll see the face moving from here. So if I do that, right, we'll see it coming back from there. Because again, um, all we're doing is moving the face off of the head. One easy way to fix this or a trick that we'll have to do is come to the frame right in front of that and just move this over to the left like so okay 
So when you scrub like this, all right, so we'll have to fix that. Let me go back. So it comes here. Okay, so we want to move these back here. Made a mistake a while ago, so like so. Yeah, and then it comes around here. So like this, and then yeah. So we need to needed to move the frames to the 24th before the 24th frames or after the 24th frame. Uh, so let's go back to frame 36 here. Let me turn on this here, my preview, and press play to see. All right. So that looks okay. And then um, I am going to go down to, this is what, 36. So 48, I believe, is the 12th frame. Forgive me if I'm counting this wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move this. Well, we can actually duplicate this frame right here. Right, so let's right click and uh, duplicate. And let's play that back and see how that looks. Okay, so that looks okay to me. All right, so let me save that. So we have the face turning around. Now let's go ahead and work on the nose, shall we? And I'm gonna go back to frame one and click on the nose bone. And then I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to shift it a bit. And then not my right arrow key and then my left arrow key to shift it back just to get that keyframe. And then we know that every 12 frames, it should move, right? So let me type 12 here. Uh, so when it's on this frame, right, I want the nose to be somewhere about here. Yeah, that seems okay to me. And um, I mean, you can, if you keep on forgetting or you don't want to count how much 12 frames um, up, is is the next keyframe should be you could just click on the body and then you know just come directly to where the keyframe is and then go back to that bone right there okay so uh let me just check this again i think it should be 24 let me go back okay so when the head is this way we shouldn't be seeing the um the nose right because the nose is supposed to be around that part but let me just scroll back here because there, there are some things that we'll have to do with this nose right here. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off the left ear so we can see this clearly. Okay, so we're going to um, actually alter the z depth of the nose layer. We can't necessarily uh, use the bone and push it forward and backwards. So we'll have to do that on the layer. So let me click on the nose layer. And in my ZDEP properties, I'm gonna just change this just so we can get that keyframe here and change it back to zero. And then come move one frame to the right or one frame up. And let me sort of experiment and see what value I need to add here in order to move it forward. So two, maybe four. Okay, four is okay. Let's try three. Don't want to go. Okay, so let's work with uh, three. All right, so it's here. And then it moves back or uh, it moves forward. And then as it comes to frame, let me go back to the body, well, the face. And when it comes to here, about frame 24, it should be um, somewhere over there, right? So let me go to the nose. And let me just move this. Let me actually assign a keyframe here first. Let me move forward a bit and assign a keyframe. I mean, we could just duplicate that, but uh, assign it there and then move here. On frame 25, that's frame 25, let me check. Yes, frame 25. I'm gonna go back to the nose and just move this over like so. I mean, we don't have to bring it all the way over here because it's hidden behind the head. So, you know, it's still believable that it's in the same position as the face. Um, and let me go click on body and see how far down. 
So when it gets to here, I'm just gonna move it around. Uh, let me actually save this first. Uh, and I'm gonna turn off the right ear and put back on the nose and move this forward like so. Okay, that is uh, maybe a bit more. Okay, so like so, so that is okay. Oh, let me turn off the preview so it's kind of moving slowly. So let me turn it off. All right, so from there now we want to move one frame forward. So let me just move one frame forward. And oh, let me move back first. Go on to the nose layer. And I want to change it back. Yeah, I just altered it so we can get that keyframe. All right. And then I'm going to move one frame forward and we want to bring it all the way up um, on top of the head, right? So change that to zero. So it switches its Z depth and comes on top. And then um, go back to the body so we can see where it ends, which is frame 48. Yeah. And then click on nose, click on this. And I'm going to move it over onto the head. Well, we can actually duplicate this one because remember the first frame is um, the nose is here. So we can right click and duplicate and it goes back into position. Let me save that, zoom out a bit and let's see how that looks, shall we? So let me start here and click play. Okay, so that, that it's not perfect, but I mean, you know, a few alterations and we can make that look perfect. Uh, keep in mind that we also have, um, we have this hidden within a switch, so we can switch out the nose for the the, um, the side of the nose, all right? So if I click on the nose, I'm just going inside there so you can see, we can change it out again. So when it gets here, we could just change it out to this and um, but we'll have to animate this as well, okay? And um, I think I'm gonna leave that for the next video because this video has gone on way too long. So if you get the idea, you can try doing it by yourself with your character. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one and I will see you in the next video. Yo.